Hi guys, I am Divyang from IGCSE on fingertips. Welcome back to a brand new video of basics of organic chemistry. In this video, we are going to understand the different types of formula and we are going to understand what is isomerism, how does it occur, right? So the first thing, what is a general formula? Let's take an example of any alkane. All the alkanes will follow general nomenclature or general formula of CN H2N plus 2 where N is the number of carbon right this becomes your general formula any alkane you take if N is the number of carbon CN H2N will give you the number of hydrogen as well general formula is there for all homologous series and all functional groups right then we have empirical formula what is an empirical formula empirical formula is general ratio it is general ratio between the number of atoms of an element or the two three four elements that are combining let's take for example the formula of glucose you have c6 h12 o6 right this is the formula we have understood of glucose the simplest glucose now what is the ratio between carbon hydrogen and oxygen if you take 6 as the hcf the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. So the empirical formula of this is CH2O, right? CH2O. Generally, a homologous series has a similar empirical formula, okay? The next thing we have is structural formula. So let's take, let's first understand that how does molecular formula occur? So you have CN H2N plus 2. Let's take example where N is equal to 5. The formula will become C5H12, right? This is known as molecular formula C5H12. The number of carbon, the number of hydrogen is molecular formula. If it's an acid, you will have oxygen. If it's a protein molecule, you will have nitrogen, so on and so forth. It tells us how many atoms are present in the compound. So what is a structural formula? Let's take one simplest possible arrangement of this compound. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are the 5 carbons, right? C5. Let's draw the 12 hydrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12, right? This is the simplest possibility of C5H12. But is this the only possibility? No, it's not. And that is what isomerism is. Compounds having same molecular formula but different structural formula are known as isomers, right? These things are known as isomers so we are going to understand isomers of this compound right the isomers of this compound right first let us write the name of this isomer there are one two three four and five carbon there is no branching so to put it simply it is pentane right it is pentane there are no double bonds this is pentane let us see other molecular arrange sorry the other structural arrangements of C5H12. So you can give it a chain of let's say four carbon and then there is a branching on this carbon, right? I'll just draw the lines for hydrogen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. So in this also you will have 12 hydrogen. What will be the name of this compound? So there are 1, 2, 3 and 4 carbon in the longest chain. You can't count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No. You have, take, you have to take the longest chain. So the longest chain is 1, 2, 3 and 4. If you change it, you still have 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now 4 carbons, right? 4 carbons in one line that gives butane carbon gives butane and on the second carbon you have a methyl group this is ch3 
three, right? This is going to be CH three. CH three is known as methyl group. C two H five is known as ethyl group. C three H six will be known as C three H seven will be known as propyl group, so on and so forth. Now, where is this methyl group? It is on the second carbon. So the name of this compound is sorry, the name of this compound is two methyl. Butane, right? The name of this compound is 2-methyl butane. Let's let's take another example, right? For the same kind of the same molecular formula, right? So you have one, two, and three. This time you just have three carbon in one chain. One carbon is branched here, and the other one is branched here. Let us draw the hydrogen. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. You still have C five H twelve, right? All these three compounds have same molecular formula, right? So let us find out what name shall we give to this compound. So there are one, two, and three carbon in one line. So you have three carbon in one line. What is the name of that? Prop, right? It's a alkene. So you'll write propane. Then what about the branching? Now, if you notice, there are two branches of methyl, right? On the same carbon. No matter how you count it, let's let's name it. This is one, two, three. Still, the chain is on. I mean, the branch is on second carbon. If you count it like this, one, two, three. Still, the branch is on second carbon. If you count it like this, one, two, three. Still, the branch is on second carbon. Let's let's try to name it now. So it is propane, right? It is propane because there are three carbon in the longest chain. On second carbon, there are two methyl group. So the name will be. So the name will be two two dimethyl propane. Okay, two two dimethyl propane. So these are some examples. In the comments below, let me know what are all the possible isomers of C five H twelve. Right? You can know, let me know in the comment box below. Let us do some questions about isomerism and all the topics we have understood in the series so far. First question: Propane belongs to a homologous series called ketones. Ketones. Have the same C double bond O group as aldehydes. Okay, I read it wrong. It is propanol belongs to the homologous series called ketones. Ketones have the same C double bond O group as aldehydes, but C double bond O group is not at the end of carbon chain. The C double bond O group is on the carbon which is between two other carbon. Propanol has the same molecular formula as propanol. What is the term used to describe molecules with different structures, but with the same molecular formula? That's what we have understood. It is isomers, right? Actually, there are two different functional groups. So the actual name of this thing is functional group isomerism. But for our great time, we don't have to study that. We have to just understand that same molecular formula, different structural formula is isomer. Okay. Next question: Draw two structural isomer of compound with formula C3H7Cl. Okay. So the simplest formula I'm going to draw is they are asking two formulas, right? The simplest I'm going to draw is three carbon, and then everywhere I'll draw hydrogen, except except one hydrogen has been replaced by chlorine, right? One hydrogen has been replaced by chlorine what is this this is let's also name it they are not asking the name but let's name it this is 1 chloro propane right there are three carbon chlorine is on the first carbon you can name it from left or right the aim is to give this functional group lowest possible carbon number so this is 1 chloro propane let's see what else can we do so you have three carbon Now, before I do anything else, I can show that the chlorine is on second one because chlorine, if the chlorine is on this one, it will be again one chloro propane, right? 
So a easy way to spot isomers is same number of carbon, hydrogen, chlorine, basically same molecular formula, but different names, right? That is also a way you can spot isomers, right? So you have chlorine, 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 sorry, carbon, 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 and then you have one chlorine on the second carbon, right? All the other hydrogens are present here. And the name of this will be 2 chloropropane. Right? What is happening here? We have changed the position of chlorine from first position to the second one. Right? These are the two possible ways in which C3H7Cl can occur. Let us let us see what is the next question. Structure of four organic molecules are shown. Right? So, okay, which molecules are structural isomers of each other? Now, this is an important question. We need to understand the concept of the longest chain, right? See, what is happening in this question is there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon in the straight chain, okay? Like this or like this does not matter, okay? What matters is if this is the straight chain and there is a branching somewhere here or here, right this is a straight chain what about this one two three and then there are some straight chains so one two three four if you count like this there are four carbons in the straight chain if you count like this also there are four carbon in the straight chain so five carbon all of them are single bonds so this is a possible isomer right one two three four and one two three or one two three four these two are the same structures just bending them from somewhere does not change the structure right so these two are same structures let's let's see what is this this is the one we had drawn right this is the one we had drawn 2 2 dimethyl propane okay so they are not asking they are not asking which of them are isomers they are asking this is our original molecule which of them are isomers of this one now these two are same right and this is the longest chain possible and this is the highest branching possible so your answer is 2 and 3 right your answer is 2 and 3 so okay let's go to the next question let's see what is the next question so you have a structure of five organic compounds a b c and d and e are shown Answer the question that follow each letter may be used once more than once or none at all. So this question is about structures. It is about isomerism and a little bit about reactions. Okay, only a little bit. So give the letter of compound that is propane one all right on which compound can you find propane all. So before you know every time when we have a question before going through all the options let's just understand what the compounds are this has four carbon so it is bute this has a carboxylic acid group so this is butanoic acid okay i am writing a short form for my understanding butanoic acid this has three carbon so this is pro propane right then it has one two three carbon compounds in line but there is a double bond on first carbon so i will write prop one in this carbon has one two three carbon in the longest chain and alcohol group so this is propanol but if you notice there was propane one all right so the alcohol group should be on first carbon yes this is propane one all then you have one two three three carbon and this is acid so this is propanoic acid something to understand here is that propanoic acid and propane propanoic one propane one oic acid are the same thing because carbon has c double bond o. it is possible on the first or last carbon and you name it in such a way that your functional group gets the lowest number so this will always be one there is no need to write propane one oic acid it's going to be the same it's understood so give the letter of compound that is propane one all it's d right we just named it then 
गिव द लेटर ऑफ कंपाउंड दैट हैज एम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला सी एच टू सो विच रेशियो इज सी एच टू दिस हैज थ्री कार्बन एंड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट हाइड्रोजन दिस वॉन्ट डू इट राइट लेट से दिस हैज थ्री कार्बन एंड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स हाइड्रोजन येस दिस इज वन इज टू टू now you may not have the time to do this in every compound right so what you should understand is that alkenes have a general formula of cnh2n the general formula tells us that they are going to be in the ratio 1 is to 2 right which of them is alkene c is the alkene so our answer is c next question Give the letter of one compound that reacts with bromine in an addition reaction. I told you there can be at least one question. There may be some questions of reactivity. Now alkenes react with bromine. That is their identity reaction. You pass any unsaturated carbon through halogen, the halogen will lose its color because it is getting added to the compound, right? Which of them is unsaturated? Again. this is the only unsaturated the letter c right letter c okay let's let's see give the letter of one compound that reacts with chlorine to form the compound shown okay now if you notice it's reacting with chlorine not hcl right you may get confused that this double bond can break right it can accommodate chlorine on one side hydrogen on the other but that's not happening it's reacting with just chlorine so this hydrogen is being replaced by chlorine so what is the letter of this compound the letter of this compound is b right okay let's see give the letters of two compounds that can react with each other to form an ester esterification reaction is between acid and alcohol we have also done naming of esters right and that time i had told you that the reaction between acid and alcohol gives an ester right what kind of ester do they form okay any ester the list of name of two compounds an acid and an alcohol so you can write ad but ed are also the same thing so any combination d is the important one a or e is your choice so a okay so you have a and b right a or e is our own choice give the letter that is in the same homologous series as hex 1 ene what is the homologous series of hex 1 ene it is alkene right we have just done what is alkene the c letter c compound is an alkene then you have give the letter of one compound that is an acid we can simply write a right this was an acid e is also an acid right we have the last question for us draw structural isomers of compound b show all of the atoms and all of the bond they just want one structural isomer of compound b what will we do we will change this functional group to the second carbon right we will change this functional group to the second carbon and that will be its isomer so 1 2 3 let's write here o h they have asked show all of the bonds so show the bonding between o and h so there is h h h h h h and one more h right this brings us to the end of this video now in this question we had discussed some reactions right if you want me to make a video on reaction please let me know in the comment box below thank you and bye bye